In this video, I'm going to teach you how I like to run the air raid offense in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you take your Madden game to the next level. Guys, I just released my air raid offensive ebook over at my Patreon membership. So if you've not joined the Patreon yet, go ahead and head on down to the description. Click that link. that will take you right over. You can join the Patreon today for just 10 bucks a month. And by being a Patreon member, you're going to get instant access to over uh, 12 offensive and defensive of ebooks and you're going to get access to every ebook that I'm going to release over the course of while your subscription is active. You can choose to re-up every month or you can choose to just do it as a month to month thing. But again, there's uh, if you want to join the Patreon, there's a link down in the description. Now, that being said, guys, we are going to be talking today about probably one of my favorite concepts uh, in the entire game, and that is the curl wheel. Now, the reason why I like this play so much is there's so much that we can do with this uh, setup. I'm going to show you one that I really, really like and why I like this offense so much. So I'm just going to move the ball over to the left hash mark. Uh, ideally, you can run this on the left hash mark. You can run this on both hash marks, but I think it works best to the left hash mark. What we're going to do is we're going to motion our tight end to the right. And you're going to see that it's going to give us this little hidden motion right here. And then all we're going to do is we're going to drag our triangle receiver. We're going to fade Scotty Miller. And then we're going to have our running back on an in route. So you see here we got a little mesh concept underneath. And then we have this kind of fade and uh, post concept over the middle of the field. And what you're going to see here is first, first read is always these underneath routes. If we can take these underneath routes for an easy uh, 10 to 15 yards a pop, we are certainly going to do that. What we want to do is we want to make them have to hard flat uh, on both sides of the field. So that's kind of that purpose of that play. And then what you're going to see here is this is kind of similar to the double post out of the Carolina book. Uh, but this post route is so, so good. If you take a look there, you're going to notice that it's going to get over the top of 30-yard cloud flats. Uh, and that's, to me, one of the really, really important pieces uh, of this offense. Now, you can kind of build around this. This is only one play and one concept. But I'm going to show you. We've, we've showed you that it beats cover four. Uh, I'm going to show you now. This is cover three. And if you watch this, um, again, you're just going to pass lead that route up. And as you see, it's about a 40-yard post over the top of the defense, uh, which the other cool part about this play is that route is actually going to get open at different points in the concept. So um, you can throw it early in some examples. I just got absolutely screamed at. That's why I normally spy them because it's very rarely that that does that in an actual game. Uh, but anyways, we're going to show you this against cover two. And uh, I would say that cover two probably defends this the best, at least the at least the route to Mike Evans. But the beauty of this is that you have your underneath crossers. So um, I could easily check it down to the in route or the drag, or I could wait on this play. And as you can see, that post is going to get a lot of separation on that sideline. Um, and then if they're in man to man, I'm going to show you how this play works uh, against man to man. Again, I love, 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 love to throw these crossers, these little drags, little running back in route or the drag to the slot here. Um, they're just going to mesh really well. See how they run into each other, create some separation. And then, of course, you can throw that route to Mike Evans right on the sideline in a real uh, tight window. But the beauty of this play is that um, you can run this about a million and one different ways. For example, let's say that you wanted to uh, have a play set up that is really good against the blitz. Uh, you can do that if you want. We're going to drag Scotty Miller instead, and we're going to leave that wheel route. What you're going to see from that wheel route is it's going to get to the sideline and then it's going to turn up and then we can obviously block every blitz in the game by blocking our tight end so it's just one of the many ways in which i love to run this air raid offense now the other thing i want to show you real quick um, this is kind of a situational adjustment but if you're getting a lot of press man-to-man -man coverage again i love this setup this way as well and what you're going to notice here is you still have that clear out route but now this wheel route if they're pressing you at a man coverage that is going to absolutely kill man-to-man. Uh, -man. So there's so much more that I have to teach you about the air raid. This is literally the tip of the iceberg. But if you want to learn uh, my entire air raid offense, I would really encourage you uh, to go ahead and join my Patreon membership. By joining the Patreon membership, you're going to get immediate access to every single ebook that I have released so far in the Madden 22 season, which this makes our 13th ebook. And then you're also going to get instant access to everything that I'm going to release while your subscription is active. And again, it's just 10 bucks a month, right? And if you don't want to re-up after the first month, 
you could choose to cancel that. Uh, but again, it's just, in my opinion, it's the best deal in the game right now. So if you want to join the Patreon, uh, we not only have our ebooks, all of our ebooks over there, we also have exclusive tips, breakdowns. I put like three videos in there today uh, talking about defensive sh uh, strategy and some of the meta changes that are coming up. So again, guys, if you want to get access to all of that material, join the Patreon. There's a link down in the description below. And just head on down there and click that link. And like I said, you can join it. And by joining it, you're going to get immediate access uh, to literally everything. So it'll, I think it will definitely help you take your game to the next level. Thanks for watching this, and we'll see you guys in the next video.